Hey everybody, how's it going? Uh, it's been a couple weeks, right? About two weeks since I've seen everybody. I hope everybody's holiday was good and everything like that. Um, today I'm going to do a cologne video for you. It's actually been quite a while since I've done a cologne video. Um, I've been doing different topics on all sorts of things. Um, I think it's probably been over a month since I've done like a cologne specific video. Uh, I hope that some of you stick with me. I know that you probably don't like the fact that I'm changing subjects, but I want to do stuff that keeps me interested in the channel. So I hope you can be cool with that. Uh, I hope some of you are still here. Who knows? But today I'm going to talk about one of my favorite fragrances ever, and that is Prada Amber Pour Ohm. I've done a video on this before, but it was more like a first impressions. I'd like to give this a proper review and what I actually think about this. So I got this actually for Christmas. I always love this. I always have a can of this somewhere, but I got a full bottle. Here's the bottle. It's going to be backwards, of course, because for some reason... Um, gorgeous bottle. Now, if you watch me, you know that I'm not the kind of person that's big on bottles. I don't care too much about it because I really just care if the juice is good. Um, but I kind of am a sucker for minimalist sort of things. And I would say that this looks fairly minimalist. You got, you know, just a square bottle with the offset sprayer. You get this metal plate with the notes listed on it, which I think is kind of cool. And the juice color, which is kind of, um, some people say purple. I don't know how well it reads on camera. It's more like a, it's like a periwinkle color. It's a very cool very cool juice color, <clears throat> excuse me, plastic cap, which is totally fine, and then a sprayer, which is superb. I don't know how well this will come off on camera, but the sprayer is superb, really, truly. It's not quite as pressurized as something that you would find in a Dior bottle, but it's still a very good sprayer. You can kind of control how much mist you want. You get like a little or a lot, basically. So you've probably heard this described before that this smells like an expensive bar of soap that you would find at a hotel totally accurate. I'm actually going to re read the notes. I normally don't do that, but I thought, what the hell, I'm going to read them. And also, please forgive my crazy hair. Please forgive it. I'm in that weird, I'm growing my hair out. I'm in that weird in-between state where my hair just wants to sh literally grow straight up until it gets long enough and it will come down. Okay, so top notes, we have Neroli. I'm looking up here. Cardamom, bergamot, mandarin orange. For the mids, we have myrrh, musk, orange blossom, geranium, and vetiver. And for the base notes, saffron, vanilla, labdanum, that's a hard one to pronounce, leather, tonka bean, sandalwood, and patchouli. Patchouli, one of my favorites. Lots of good notes in here that I really love. Obviously, neroli in, at the top, keeping it very soapy with all the citrus and everything like that. I could get, now I just read that mostly for you. I could break all the notes down. I'm not going to. What I'm mostly going to say is that, yes, this does smell like an expensive bar of hotel soap. It smells like expensive talcum powder or something like that. It does have a powdery vibe to it. I don't think it's 100% soap. Um, but yes, of course, soap. It's like 90% soap, 10% talcum powder. It's very luxurious smelling. It smells beautiful would probably be the best way to describe how this smells. It smells, um, yes, exactly. Like if you didn't just go to like a, a normal... Um, a budget hotel or a motel or something, you went to a bit of a nicer hotel where they had like a deal with some brand for the little toiletries. And that's what this bar, this would smell like that bar of soap. Um, it has just this soapy, uh, almost like clean laundered uh, talcum powder feel to it with spices. You know, you do smell a bit of citrus and stuff at the top. Um, but if you really sniff and try to smell the notes, you will smell some spices and things like that. And you will smell a bit of, I think, patchouli. I mentioned in my initial review of this, or my first impressions over a year ago when I did this one, that it, 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 it's so beautiful and like, uh, I don't even know how to describe it, just luxurious. But there is this like sharp green sort of vibe that I get that I think pushes it ever so slightly into the masculine territory, but it's not something that comes out all the time. It's not a note that you would just smell off the top or smell on somebody. It's something you kind of get whiffs of once in a while, and I think that's the patchouli. It's this slightly dirty, sharp kind of green note that I love. And it's it almost seems out of place, but I guess it's the perfect note to put in here to push it to be masculine. But to be honest, I think this is a totally unisex perfume. Um, I just really, I mean, maybe some women would be turned off by that, other than that, though, there's really nothing in this that would I don't think a woman wouldn't like wearing on herself. And similarly with a man, if you don't like that powdery, soapy vibe, I could understand that you want something very ma masculine, very rugged. This is not that kind of cologne. This is not a masculine, rugged cologne. But it's beautiful. 
Um, it's something different, I think, honestly. I mean, I know there's a lot of soapy scents out there, and I love them. Like, for instance, I have... Um, uh, uh, I can't even remember the name of it because I can't remember anything, but I have a couple other soapy colognes that I like to wear all the time, and this one just is different. It just has more of a dressed-up feel to it. It has more of a relaxing feel to it. This is a cologne that I love because, uh, obviously, I love soapy scents, but this is a great one to put on after the shower. You know, you feel extra clean. You feel so well put together. I think it's good for any situation. Date, going to work, going to a wedding or a business meeting or anything. I just think it works so well and because it just smells clean. It just smells like clean soap. People are just going to think you smell great. You know, uh, it has a ever so slight bit of that cologne, you know, perfume vibe to it. But really, it doesn't smell much like that. It really just smells like its own thing. Um, yeah, I absolutely love it. I love, I mean, I, I can't, I've been wearing this every single day since I got this. I just can't, I cannot get enough of this, right? Um, I honestly, and this is a little tangent, but please, if you know this cologne well, let me know. I heard, and I saw quite a bit of discussion that this was discontinued, which was upsetting to me because it's so good. But I did see a number of people say that and... I don't find it to be discontinued. I, I, I even uh, Prada lists that on their website. So maybe that was just some rumors or something. All right, let's quickly talk about the performance, and then I'll get you out of here. Um, performance, I find to be the Achilles heel of this perfume. It is bad, okay? Um, very unfortunate. Uh, I find that on me, in terms of projection, I get maybe a half an hour to an hour of projection. I find in terms of longevity, I'm lucky if I get four hours probably three hours. That's piss poor, right? That's very bad. Um, yeah, there's no excuse, really. That's just bad performance. One thing I guess I could say is that this might be, on me, a sort of a nosmic perfume, which is nose blindness, where you spray it on yourself, and then you don't really smell it on yourself, right? You don't smell it after a while, but it's still there. Other people will smell it on you. And I think that might be the case, um, because obviously spraying cologne on your clothes is going to make it last a lot longer. You know, sometimes you can have a cologne last on your clothes for weeks or even months, right? Depending on how strong it is. Um, but yeah, I, the fact that after like three to four hours, I just can simply cannot smell this on myself at all. Not even like trying to get a whiff. I can't smell it on myself. And on my clothes, it's still boom, like there. Like I open like a bag or something and I'm hit with Prada Amber Pour Homme. This just gorgeous, ambery, rich soapiness, right? Um, so I think that there's a bit of a nausea going on there. Your mileage may vary. I find overall, even if that's not, even if that is the case, I don't think it's a very good performer. But what are you going to do? And one other thing I will say about this, a slight negative, is I think this would work perfect in all of the seasons except for extreme heat. Because... That talcum powder vibe that it does give off a bit, I think, could become slightly cloying, slightly perfumey, um, a little nauseating almost, in the extreme heat. I think if you're, like, out in, like, 80-degree weather and you're sweating, this one might make you sick almost, honestly. Um, now, in the summer, a lot of, most of the time, we're often in air conditioning and stuff, so I think it's okay. That's the only situation I think this one wouldn't be the best in. I think you're better off choosing something a little bit different. That's Prada Amber Pour Homme. It's one of my favorite colognes of all time. Honestly, uh, it, it's quick. It, it's probably top three, um, top four. Like I said, like uh, Burberry London, uh, Dior Fahrenheit, Prada Amber Pour Homme, and Happy Land Signature are probably my four favorite colognes I've ever smelled. They just transport me into because I. And another thing I will get real quick is like the scent memory thing. I love hotels. I don't know why. So weird hobby. Like I like I love. Ho going to hotels and like looking at the toiletries and, and it's the amenities. It's a weird, you know, I just, I enjoy it. So it's like, it kind of transports me to the hotel because it smells like the soap I'd get there. So, or the soap I would hope to get, not saying like I'm going staying in fancy hotels, but you know what I mean? Um, yeah. So this one just is uh, fantastic for me. I hope that you enjoy this one too. If you don't, know this one at all. I hope this video was helpful and you could actually sit through it because I can be long-winded sometimes. I hope that you guys are sticking with me throughout all these different types of videos I'm doing. Um, yeah, that's it. I hope you guys had a good holiday season. Shameless self-promotion real quick at the end. Um, Twitch.tv slash East River G3. 
same name as YouTube. I play games on there, retro games. If you like the older games, Super Mario Brothers, Donkey Kong Country, that kind of stuff, that's all there. Check it out if you want. All right, everybody have a great day. Smell good. Peace out.